Hello my friend, Evan Scoresby here with HowToWithEvan.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Git Response tags using the Tagging Affiliate Contacts Automation Workflow Template. So you might be asking yourself the question though, what is a tag and why do I need to even set it up? Well, a tag is basically a keyword that you assign to your contacts if they take a particular action. So tagging affiliate contacts lets you identify your contacts based on the type of their engagement. It automatically assigns or removes tags based on the type of offer your leads respond to. So this will help you segment your contact list based on your leads interests and behaviors, which means you can send them relevant offers in the future. Okay, so it's just a good way to identify your contacts, your subscribers, what they are doing in your emails that you're sending out to them. All right, so let's go ahead and go to Git Response and show you how this is done. All right, so in Git Response, when you're logged in, you should have this option up here at the top left that says Menu. So click on Menu, and then we're going to go to Automation. Okay, so click on automation. Now, if this is your first time accessing the automations in your account, it'll probably look something like this. Or if you've set up automations before, you might have them listed out, okay? And so just depending on your account level with Git Response, you may be only able to work with the predefined templates that Git Response offers. So if you're just on their basic plan, you're not gonna be able to customize or edit or create your own automations. You have to use the templates in Git Response. If you want that capability, you'd have to upgrade your account, okay? So we're gonna be working with a template that's available for anybody, regardless of your account level, um, which everybody has access to, which is a template called Tagging Affiliate Contacts. So we're gonna come down here and click on uh, Start Your First Workflow, okay? And then we're going to choose uh, this option on the left hand side that says affiliate marketing. And then we're going to choose this template right here that says tagging affiliate contacts. And I'm going to use that template. Okay, so it's going to be building. So using this template, it's going to be able to help me identify uh, people on my email list that click the links in emails that I send them. Okay, so it's defaulted to be when a newsletter is clicked. But there's other ways that I can send out emails to my subscribers. It could be in the form of a newsletter, which is done through an on-demand manual broadcast. It could be in the form of an autoresponder, or it could be in the form of an automation email, okay? And so, but I want to identify when my subscribers actually click on any one of my links in any of my email messages, just so I can start separating those people who are opening and clicking on my messages versus the people who aren't. So it's segmenting my list and I'm going to assign a specific keyword for anybody that does that. Now for the people who don't do that, they're gonna be assigned a different keyword, okay? So there's seven different elements at play here in this template and we have to set up and do each element in order to complete the workflow. We can't leave anything blank here. So right here, if I click on this element, this one is set to whenever any newsletter link is clicked. We're just going to leave this one at the default because this is one action I want to track. Okay. So if I click on this one over here, that's the exact same thing, but I need to change it. So if I click on this element over here, it brings up the options of where I can change it on the right. So I'm going to change this from newsletter to autoresponder. Okay, so newsletter to autoresponder. And then on this element, this third element, I'm gonna change it from newsletter to automation. Okay, so these are the three main ways that somebody on your email list will probably click on a link in your emails. Either, either through an on-demand email message that you send manually or an autoresponder email that they receive automatically for being on your list or it could be through an automation message based on their actions, okay? So once we have, ha once we decide on the trigger of you know what triggers this automation, we now need to assign the tag. And we're gonna have the actually the same tag be assigned for all of these triggers because we're identifying people who have just clicked 
on any link in any message that we're sending them, okay? So it's a simple, simple automation. So right here, I'm gonna click on this element that says assign the tag. So over on the right hand side, if you don't have any tags set up, then you need to create one, okay? So in this example, I'm just going to say clicked link, okay? So just a generic tag that says clicked underscore link. Okay, and then click on add the tag. Okay, so you can see over here on the left hand side, it now says assign the tag clicked link. And now that I set up that tag, I can select that same tag for these other two elements. So I'm gonna click on this one, come over here and assign the tag, okay, for that one. And do the same thing for this element, assign the tag, okay, so now, regardless of if they open up a newsletter, autoresponder, email, or automation, the tag clicked link is going to be assigned to those subscribers. Now, if they don't click on the link in the emails that I send them, I'm going to set up a different tag that will say something probably like not clicked link, right? <laughs> or didn't click link. So I'm going to click here. We're going to assign the tag and we are going to create a new tag here and I'm going to say didn't underscore click underscore link okay so didn't click link and click on add okay so now I have this automation where all the different triggers for the type of emails that I send they're, if they click on the link, they're going to be tagged as such, and if they don't, they don't, right? So this is just a way for me to separate those contacts, right? And I'm going to go ahead and up here in the top right corner, I'm going to click on the settings where I can change the workflow name and say something like um, clicked link in emails, okay? Something like that. So it starts on the exact date, starts on immediately, and it never ends. Okay, and then all I need to do is come up here and save and publish. All right, so once it's saved and published, it'll come here, it says amazing workflow, and we can click right here that says see all workflows, and it will be listed here. So at any time, we can go in here and edit or change or view the workflow, okay? And so that's how you use it. That's how you set up this uh, template uh, in Get Response for tagging affiliate contacts. And you can literally set any tag that you want just based on how you want to track it. All right, so I hope you found that information uh, helpful. And uh, if you did, feel free to leave a comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.